Today we want to tell you the story about Rosalind Franklin and her important role in the discovery of the DNA helix structure. Rosalind Franklin was born and raised in London in the 1920s. Her family was a very well-respected Jewish family that noticed her curiosity and her talent for mathematics very early on. This is why they supported her and sent her to prestigious schools, allowing her to get the education she desired. After school, she began to study science at the University of Cambridge. Her studies focused on crystallography and physical chemistry, in which she graduated as the best of her year. Even though she worked really hard and already had a promising scientific career in sight, women were not treated equally to their male colleagues at most universities at that time. Still, Rosalind was very content and ambitious and was awarded her PhD in 1945 with her thesis focusing on the chemical and structural characteristics of coal. Afterwards, she got a job in a laboratory in Paris, where she thrived and gained even more experience in X-ray crystallography. She had already made a name for herself in her research field and was very respected for her detailed and thorough work. In 1950, Rosalind was offered a three-year fellowship at the Biophysics Unit at King's College London. She was assigned to structurally resolve the DNA using X-ray crystallography, which was suspected to be a great scientific discovery and a major breakthrough. At that point, only chemical information about the components of DNA were known, but there was no information on how these components were organized in three-dimensional space. Rosalind was not the only one working to answer that specific question, as two of her colleagues namely Morris Wilkins and Raymond Gosling, aimed to resolve the structure of DNA as well. Bad communication and poor leadership in the group resulted in competition and tension. Rosalind felt unwelcome in the male-dominated environment. Many other scientists around the world desperately tried to figure out the structure of DNA, with two of them being James Watson and Francis Crick. Both were respected, ambitious and had countless opportunities and many mentors supporting their careers. The two then became friends with Rosalind's colleague Morris Wilkins. Meanwhile, Rosalind, with her empirical, experimental approach, succeeded in taking high-resolution images of the X-ray pattern of the DNA helix. Today, the decisive photo is known as Photo 51 and was taken by her graduate student assistant Gosling. When Rosalind left King's College for a new position, Wilkins, her former colleague, then handed the photographs over to Watson and Crick, knowing it would help them to make a tremendous step forward in their research. They built a model that was inspired by Rosalind's data and published it in Nature in 1953, with only a small note indicating the contribution of Rosalind and her group. Rosalind, however, still focused on her own research and continued to make meaningful discoveries. Unfortunately, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1956 and died in April 1958 at the young age of 37 after her cancer treatment was unsuccessful. The world recognized Watson and Crick as the discoverers of the DNA double helix and they were honored with a Nobel Prize in 1962. They accepted the prize without indicating Rosalind Franklin's contribution and the value of the X-ray data she obtained in her studies. Instead, Watson continued to discredit her in numerous interviews and finally in his best-selling book. The book contained misogynist sexist comments and exaggerated scenes, displaying Rosalind's personality and her work incorrectly and improperly. Many of Rosalind's former colleagues took her side and defended her legacy posthumously. Above all, former Birkbeck colleague Aaron Clark, who was awarded a Nobel Prize himself in 1982 and even praised Rosalind in his speech. He found her personal notes and unpublished manuscripts, indicating she figured out the DNA helix structure herself. Therefore, he and many others to this day are convinced Rosalind never received the recognition she deserved during her lifetime and after. Nowadays, she is often referred to as a feminist icon and her experiences are a famous example of sexism in science. We hope her story will be a lesson to some and an inspiration to others. Even though a lot has changed for the better in many parts of the world, there is still room for improvement. 
We believe everyone deserves the same access to education. Many groundbreaking discoveries were made by women. Female scientists literally changed the world. With this video, we would like to especially encourage young girls and women to pursue a career in STEM. We know you are capable, talented and able to really make a difference. The world needs you. We would be happy if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon in one of the next videos.